Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. We have yet another N64 update. The Mr. FPGA call that's a work in progress that Robert Pipe has uh, been working on tirelessly for some time now. And guys, we are getting frequent updates and I, and I have to say this has to be probably the biggest update it has received. Graphics. Graphics are just coming together so nicely now. So before we get into this video, I want to give a mention to a subscriber of the channel, AM. Big shout out to you, buddy. He actually uh, he actually mentioned, hey, there's another call. I was kind of on it already because I've been in and out of the Discord while I'm off work. But it's always nice when you guys tag me, regardless of whether I know about it or not. It's always, always appreciated. So a big shout out to AM. Uh, also, I want to say, guys, Video Game Esoteric will have a video out on this call tomorrow as well so make sure you check that because he will give you some scientific facts and some information about i guess the science behind what you're seeing i'm just going to tell you hey look at this game it looks cool and this is cruising usa and damn right guys it looks cool this is fully playable now i don't know the game I don't know this game, I never played this on the Nintendo 64. Uh, the controls are a bit, they're definitely very, very sensitive and take some getting used to, but man, this game's a lot of fun. And I can see like some some kind of effects, some some uh, vertical lines up top there, but apart from that, but the, the game is fully playable. Like, I haven't completed the game from what I played of it. It plays fantastically well, guys. And there's a lot of games. We're going to have a look at some games. We're going to revisit some old games. And guys, it's awesome. But um, what Robert says about this in this update is the RDP added new textures plus palette modes and RDP modified pipeline to support palette read and reach timing closure again. That's the notes in there. But like I said, make sure you watch video game as the one tomorrow. He'll definitely give you a better, a better understanding of exactly what the changes are. But look how great Cruise in USA is running, guys. Like, honestly, I can't believe how quickly this court is just becoming like something. I mean, guys, honestly, I'm amazed. I am amazed. I, 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 I did not expect to be where we are now already. But anyway, let's look at some more games. But yeah, man, fantastic. And guys, check it out, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Now, we're getting Mortal Kombat 1 for the Mr. Soon, uh, with a, with a kind of uh, a targeted release date of October the 8th, I think. Well, you can play this on the Nintendo 64 core right now, and it, 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 it plays well, it looks well. Now, pardon the bad gameplay, I've got the C buttons, which you need for this game, configured over to the right analog stick on this. I haven't got optimal controls for this while testing, but I feel the core is coming along like so fast now i need to get like an n64 controller if you, if you guys have got good recommendations especially for an rf one i'm, I'm really into rf controllers if if there's one uh, if there's an rf one out there i'd love to get one ultimately i could use a wired one but i prefer rf so if you've got any suggestions for one hit me up in the comments below but guys look at it more combat trilogy is looking good yeah there's some graphical issues there like you can see like at the bottom there uh that little kind of wavy stuff there but this wasn't even booting into game on the last one if you've been following these videos videos and following like the progress updates we couldn't get into uh, Mortal Kombat trilogy we got into Mortal Kombat 4 where we kind of had like the the kind of shadowy outline but look how far and look how good the graphics are looking now I am looking forward to playing this and like I said guys I did try block up up but, but clearly it's the uh, that that death move where uh, Scorpion scorches them isn't available in the trilogy but guys this is looking really really well and uh, also I just want to say if you want to stick around until the end of the video there will be a tutorial i'll just put a quick tutorial out there because hey i really do feel it's worth playing this call right now it is in a good state and definitely definitely check it out i mean there's a lot of games you can play and enjoy okay next up guys we have bio freaks and this game is a little bit of a guilty pleasure uh, a friend of mine who had like this piracy device for the nintendo 64 he had like every single game uh, out there so i was fortunate enough to have access to pretty much every nintendo 64 game it doesn't mean i played every game because i never remember playing cruise in usa but i was really into fighting games around this time and when this came out like i was trying to convince my friend to play it because i liked how it looked and to be honest it doesn't even look too bad now uh, do mind the gameplay because like i said all the c buttons are mapped to the right analog stick uh, while i was doing this video but look at it the graphics are looking good it's still there's still some imperfections in there but honestly if you just think about where we were 
one week ago to where we are now but this is bio freaks and the guys it's it's looking good it's it's playable now i'm not i haven't played these games for a massive amount of time like i haven't tried to complete any of them uh, to be honest i've got to go to bed early i've got an early start tomorrow but i really wanted to get this video out so maybe further on down the line they lock up or something happens and as you can see that my character's kind of the graphics have just kind of he's turned into like the metal version of himself or something but guys bio freaks playable and uh check this game out it's kind of fun in the jankiest way okay guys big big improvements in mario kart 64 now um i've seen people on the discord that have actually <laughs> completed they've completed cups on this and this is very very playable so if you remember if you've been following these uh these progress update videos when we first started we were a big black block then we became a smaller black block well now we're that smaller black block with our character in there and you can see toad in there he's just got that black box around him and also we can see what position you're in on the left hand side i'm i'm currently first and you know i was rocking on this game i did actually finish first and and had some fun blasting the characters we can see the power-ups now previously you could see like the outline of what you had or it'll be like transparent but now we can kind of we can kind of see everything and honestly this is this is so so playable now and uh honestly like I, I don't know how long this core is going to take but at the rate rubber is going at it really does feel like it's it's going to be sooner rather than later don't quote me on that because i know nothing and another thing i have to say which someone i'm really sorry i can't remember the username but obviously i'm always getting in, uh, in a discord then i do find discord overwhelming there's always a lot happening in discord and it's hard to keep up you know you, you you do stuff in normal life you come to discord there's like a million messages but someone said hey rubber you know you could be uh, you could be putting these out on your patreon and just giving people patreon access to these and you know you could be literally bleeding it but robert's not robert's putting these out for everyone to enjoy on the discord so it's available now like i said end of the video there'll be a quick tutorial a, a quick refresher of how to get this i didn't want to do it at the beginning because I, I think i've done a couple of tutorials about this already but look at the state of this core if you want to play mario kart like this then guys you can play it and it's still fun like this is a fun way of playing mario kart and just hats off to robert man like just such a nice guy man the guy works full time and in his spare time he does uh, he does all this extra work to bring us these calls and you know the guy the guy is just working hard and and he could he could he could he could uh pay all this and there's nothing wrong with being charged for your work i have absolutely no issues with that but he's he's putting this out free for us to enjoy so like i said if you if you want to enjoy this and you want a little hand in how you can get this uh, up and running it'll be a brief tutorial at the end just to kind of get you up and running but yeah man look at it mario kart is looking damn good guys this is a quick look at a game called bangayo now this was requested not once not twice but many many times uh, especially during live streams and i always said i never had it turns out i did have it, it i was looking for bangayo but the, there's two words ahead of it. it begins with b like something something bangayo it's here it's not in the greatest state but this is a fun game i completely forgot how to play it and i look forward to testing this out in future updates now that i know what it is this game actually locked on me but i did get into game and i fired some missiles and there you go it's locked up guys here we have dr mario 64 and I, and I wanted to show the intro because it, it looks really really good almost kind of reminds me of that uh that kind of paper mario vibe but this it goes into game now it's it looks like perfectly playable even though my gameplay was far from perfect i i just i just suck at this game guys okay here i am in game and, and please guys don't laugh at how bad i'm playing I, I i don't know how to play this game maybe maybe i'll learn it and i'll go to test it as long as the color blindness doesn't kind of kick in uh maybe i'll go and play like the game with dmg version of, i think there's one out because i may not need to depend on colors on that because hey it's a green screen and there's only a couple of colors there but this is looking good so if you were a dr mario 64 fan if this looks like it's uh, playable in a decent state too then hey man you can play i just can't judge this game because i don't know it well enough but to me it's looking good the puzzle pieces are looking like they're the you know they're colors that you can distinguish between obviously not me because i'm doing a bad job 
And guys, if uh, if you've guessed this from the beginning, this is Yoshi's Story. Now, I've always liked the Yoshi Story games and just how they look and, and the kind of art direction these games take. But once you get into game, like all the levels are missing, the backgrounds are missing, but you can you can do stuff. You can eat stuff. You can eat watermelons. You can eat the little the little enemies that are popping by and everything. So, you know, this is this is a major move for this because previously all we were getting was Yoshi. That's, that's all he was saying when you booted up the game but now we're in game we're moving around we're swallowing stuff we're laying eggs we're chucking those eggs all that stuff is doable in game but i won't show too much of this because this this really is it we're going to see different enemies uh we came across different enemies but there's not much to look at as far as like the background and stuff goes but hey this is this is big pro big big progress so here's a game that seems to be many people's favorite we had a look at this last time where we got a title screen and we we got in game and we, when we got in game we were kind of able to control the character but we couldn't see where we were going the tongue was popping out now we just saw yoshi where yoshi eats enemies he then turns him into an egg he process he processes the enemies for his body turns them into an egg and then throws that egg at other, en other enemies so in in comedian twist you're kind of you're kind of eat up the enemies or you swallow them in and you, you put the enemies in your mouth you don't swallow them you don't digest them you just spit them back out at other enemies and it's got a good feature like you know when you want to get along long jumps you can uh, stick your tongue out stick to the poles and pull yourself across but i can see why a lot of people like this one thing i'm really looking forward to one once this core is completed some kind of scan lines uh, on there or you know if you're playing this on a crt because like i feel like certain games certain 3d games on the n64 they, they just they, they don't really look great in raw pixels and i think this is one of them maybe because i never played this game i don't have much well i don't have any nostalgia for it i i didn't know this game until people were talking about this on the discord but hey it's amazing to see the progress this is making we're in game we're we're running around we're, we're jumping around we're eating enemies and we're chucking those enemies back out and bomberman fans rejoice we have bomberman here it's booting up we're getting in game and then one thing we're kind of noticing where we had a lot where we had graphics missing previously now we've got like certain graphics with black borders around there like that tree well, well it's gone off screen now but the tree that we were seeing there but this is this is an interesting title maybe maybe i'll check this out when uh, this for, uh, core is fully complete but it's it's bomberman but it's like an adventure bomberman so uh but it runs it runs decently well and i'm sure if you're familiar with this game you can get your way around but a lot of the graphics and everything are intact and there i am just jolly bomberman jumping around chucking bombs because hey that's what i like to do so guys i wanted to have a look at resident evil 2 again and do you remember previously where we only had like the silhouettes we had the black shapes for the objects that leon is pushing and and leon himself was a black shape and we had no text so now we're getting the text when he's interacting uh, interact interacting with the items uh but yes it's it's looking good i tried to get into the game the game didn't start so this is just the demo part at the beginning of the game but like i say progress 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 we are making progress initially it wouldn't boo then we'd kind of see the demo with the silhouettes and now we've got more graphics being formed so moving along nicely and you know what they say guys there's no party like a mario party i really wish uh, it was like a rooftop scene and there they were playing their video games and whatnot but mario party one boots into game uh, i think this is like a beginning kind of fmv kind of thing once you get into the game but then later on when you do actually get into the gameplay it is well let's have a look and here we are in the gameplay this is what it looks like and the game just kind of hangs here but we couldn't even boot mario party 1 before we kind of got to the title screen of mario party 3 but mario party 1 at least for me was a no-go progress being made on this here we have killer instinct gold and man i just love how that uh, nintendo the n kind of flips around and explodes the rear logo and the title screen we've got more colors it is looking good uh, i go into arcade mode and i can select my character but that's kind of like where it goes i kind of got excited because i thought i might get into game and i'm not sure if someone over on the discord got into game i didn't you know i picked saber wolf and i was like let's have some saber wolf action and then eventually i just got to a black screen where the sound was playing okay guys before we do the tutorial let's uh, finish up with uh star fox or as we knew it in europe lilac wars guys this is looking good uh 
it's just a bit more it feels a bit more playable i know like the our spaceship and the enemy ships are still kind of silhouettes but man it's just so much more playable i fired my bomb there i don't know if you noticed but i like seeing what the bomb effects look like but as you can see i can see the ships there as usual bad gameplay guaranteed but i'm locking onto stuff i'm shooting stuff and it's definitely definitely become more play, uh, playable and when i do a barrel roll you know when you press the r button and you move it left or right when i'm spinning before like the effects were kind of distorted now they're not distorted it's it's looking good um and i'm pretty sure someone will end up going through the game or going through a large part of the game because someone actually in fact someone uh, whose clip i showed before the channel with super mario 64 has actually completed the whole game so that's insane friend over on discord they've actually completed mario 64 on the previous version of the call the one that was released on the 21st so i haven't actually tried mario 64 in this run i just kind of left it out and like i said i've got an early start tomorrow so i'm trying to get this video out today uh, and like I, like I said as well be sure to watch video game esoterica's one because i'm sure he'll do a few different games to me and he'll talk about like the tech behind it uh, but guys let's get into that tutorial now so you guys can get this up and running for yourself if you choose to do so if you're not interested in tu tu tutorial guys that's the end of the video like subscribe like and subscribe all that good stuff okay so guys if you are here on this part of the tutorial it means you want to get this core up and running for yourself now i'll walk you through how to do this i can't help you with the bios file due to uh, legal reasons and it's copyrighted material so i can't help you in how to get that that's something you have to get for yourself uh but i'm going to show you everything else i'll even show you where to where the bios goes but like i said i can't show you where you can get the bias from yourself that's something you guys just need to work out for yourselves find it for yourself but i will show you what to re rename it to and where to put it so first of all head over to the mr the fpga discord if you're not a member there's an invite link uh, in the description of the video like i always say if you're going over there uh, using my invite link guys be cool be respectful respect the mods and if uh, if you head over further down you've got the nintendo 64 and the mr cause you've got nintendo 64 cause and uh, the guys there are really really cool so a big shout out to everyone on the discord but what you want to do is first first under feeds and test builds head over to test builds now i like doing the tutorials in real time so i'm doing stuff so you can kind of follow along so feel free to feel free to pause it where necessary Necessary. so let's go ahead and download at the moment it's the latest one so if you're watching this in the future go for whatever the latest one is currently time of the tutorial what you just saw in the video was the 23rd 08 2023 the 23rd of august so let's just download that you can click it here and here you go that's only going to take a second to download it's 3.3 megabytes now the next thing we want i'm pretty sure it only works on the unstable version of uh, the mr operating system the latest unstable build so if you go to unstable nightlies you can get the latest mr unstable build over here uh, just make sure you are getting the latest mr unstable build and don't get it confused for something like latest a04 uh, 486 unstable build you want the latest mr unstable build so just click this link here and that will download that for you and that's that's all we need downloaded for now so here we go that's the two files that we've got now first of all uh, what you want to do is you want to rename this to just mr no file extension nothing at the end of it just plain old mr uh, and then there you go rename that and what you want to do copy and let's copy that and then put so it on, on the right hand side is my mr micro sd card which i've plugged into my pc but however you access uh, your micro sd card so what if say you've got it plugged in a pc once you've got it plugged in a pc just copy the mr file over now if you if you if i use multiple micro sd cards this is the one that i use for my unstable build but if you've only got one sd card and you've got your your mr so what you can do is your mr that's in there now you can i don't know you can call it old you can call it uh stable so old stable let's just call it that for the sake of the video but you can call it whatever you want to call it and that way if you do want to go back you can just delete the unstable and then just rename that back to mister so anyway we did copy that but let me just hit copy again and let's just paste that in here and it's not going to overwrite anything it's just going to go on there okay that's on there guys we now have the unstable version of the mr os now i'm actually 99 sure this is still on unstable at least that's what i'm using and if you find out it works unstable then cool you don't need to do this step then the next thing is the rbf the n64 uh 2023 0823 so 
uh, I've already copied this over and it's going to ask me if I want to rewrite it. So uh, if I want to write over it. So on the root of your micro SD card, head over to consoles and just copy it in here. Sorry, paste it in here. So I've got to paste it in. It's asking me if I want to replace it. Yes, why not? Let's replace it. Guys, you now have the core. You now have the, the unstable Mr. OS that you need to run this. Now, all you need to do now is... Um, right let's head up let's show you the games because i want to show you the oops, sorry wrong folder there let's go over to games and once we're on games we just want to go over to n64 now if you don't have this folder on there which you won't have because it's not part of update tool yet just create a folder over there n64 i'm not sure if it's case sensitive but a capital n and a 64 next to it actually works for me and it, and it works well so once we're in this folder that's my bios file once you find your bios file if you're searching for it search for something like nintendo 64 bios japan usa pif pif once you do find that file just rename it to um boot.rom and place it in the n64 folder and these are all the games i've got now your games i've got i've got them under the dot z64 extension and uh, i've also got them on the dot n64 extension both of them work they work they work absolutely fine most of the games you saw in the video were dot n64 a couple of them might have been uh, z64s and there's one other thing that you need to do uh, which is head over to vampire site which we'll go and do in a second and you're going to get this file here n64 database text so once you're over to vampire.net uh, i'll leave a direct link to this in the description of the video let's just fall down and this actually gives you information about uh, the bios file and everything and it does help out so this is a very very good resource to to uh, to check uh, and a big shout out to vampire very very helpful member of the uh the, the n64 or the fpga uh fpga mr fpga discord in general so here you go this is what you want to do so n64 database just download this we're going to right click here and we're going to do save link as and he's named it correctly as well just leave it as it is n n64 hyphen database and just save that and that will go into your downloads and that's it let's go back to our folders now okay so here we go we've got the n64 database in there and we just need to add that in here and well, i've already got it in here it's going to ask me to replace it uh, and then we're good that's it and, and what that does is that that loads all the settings that gets a lot of the games to work um so yeah we are we are good with that guys and, and once you've got that you're good to go so just to kind of go over the steps we downloaded the mr main that we put on the 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 root of the micro sd card and uh once we uh once we've done that we then put the rbf file which is the core inside the consoles folder uh, and then sorry i, I kind of should have done this step at the beginning but if you whenever you do that step you want the n64 uh, database text within games and the n64 folder that you're probably going to have to create if it's the first time uh you're uh, you're using this core and there you go that's the n64 database.txt folder uh and then the bios that you've got you need to rename it to boot.rom and you need to place it in there and obviously you need to have a bunch of games in here dot n64 and dot uh dot uh n sorry dot n64 and dot z64 uh work fine sorry if i'm stumbling on my words a bit it's actually quite late here uh, and i'm a little bit tired but like i said i kind of wanted to get out this out there but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you found if you found it helpful then a subscription and i like it super appreciated uh i'll see you guys around this is pixel cherry ninja out